Okay, let's close the basic panel and let's start working with some advanced editing techniques. The first thing we're going to talk about is using the tone curve panel. So go ahead and click that. And just for a quick description of what's going on here, we've got the tonal scale represented here and we've got output values on the horizontal axis and input values are going to be on the vertical axis. When you start it off and there haven't been any changes made, you're going to have this uh, straight line like there is right here. And let's put our cursor back over that again. And you'll see that when you hover over different points in the line, that you have the areas highlight around it and the word will pop up to tell you what part of your tonal skill you're going to affect if you click and drag there. This is shadows, darks, lights, and all the way at the top is highlights. The bottom, you can see the split scale that shows you how much space is being allocated to those things. So, this is the shadows, this is the darks, this is the lights, this is the highlights. You also see down here at the bottom that there are sliders you can manipulate the same thing and when you hover over those sliders you can see the same shading appearing up on the graph. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this image black and white because it's often easier to see tonal changes in black and white and I'm going to do that very quickly by clicking V on my keyboard to toggle black and white. This is my son by the way he's doing his um, blue steel. Let's actually go right out here and start dragging around to see what's going on. We remember that shadows are the darkest part of the image. Highlights are the lightest part of the image. So what do you think we might want to change? Well, maybe before we even do that, we should learn what this little tool is. I feel like maybe I can look at the image and see what I want to do more than I can understand what to drag around on this graph. Click on this. This is the target adjustment tool. Now if I drag it over his face, I can see that the diff different images on the graph are also being highlighted, representing where the colors I'm highlighting are falling, or the areas of the image. For example, this is in the highlights. This is in the darks. This is in the shadows, the darkest parts of the image. I think that what I want to do is bring up some of these areas so that it's not so dark. So I think we're going to click and now I'm going to pull upwards a little. Look at that. We see his face brightening. Look over at the graph and see what changed. We can see that we've created a steeper, a steeper curve here. We don't have the straight line anymore. And we've brought up the value of the darks. The shaded area and the slider represent that. Well, I think I still want to bring this part up just a little. I'm going to click here and drag up too. I've created some contrast here created lighter lights. I've brought up the tone in this image. You can do the same thing by manip manipulating these things on the graph. Let's grab the darks. Let's create even more contrast. So when we created this curve, we created greater differences between the dark and light, and we see that there's much more contrast in the image. That's not what I really want, though. I still do want these dark areas to be brighter. I can go back here and go to the sliders and manipulate this also and just bring those dark areas up. Now what if I wanted to bring some of these tones up higher than the areas they're allowing me to, to manipulate with them? If you want to allocate more space to the darks or the lights, you just need to spread your split scale out you need to give it more space to move in. So if you have an image where you need to go further, you move the split scale at the bottom to give yourself more room 
to work within the tonal scale. I think that in order to finish this little guy up, I'm going to bring those darks back up, bring those shadows back down a little, and that's good. We can do the before after backslash trick here. We can also use this little switch on the panel. This will turn off anything you did within this one panel and you can see the difference. This is what it looked like before I applied changes in the panel. This is what it looks like now. I think it looks a lot better. So don't be afraid of this. Go ahead and try it out with an image. You'll be able to manipulate things and start to really understand your tonal skill better the more you practice with it. Another thing, another thing that you can do here in the tone curve panel is you can come down here to the bottom, click right here, and you'll see now the sliders have disappeared and your options have disappeared. Now we're messing with the RGB, red, green, or blue channels. So we're working with colors now. Let me get a different image really quickly here. Let's work with another image from the Colors Festival. If I want to change what's going on with all of the color channels at once, I'll just leave it on RGB. Go up here and drop a point, grab it, and raise it up to see what happens. I'm raising the brightness in all the colors. Go down and you see that I'm lowering the brightness in all the colors. Now if I want to add more contrast, I can make a steeper curve here. Right now it's a straight line, so it doesn't have very much contrast. But if I drop a point here by clicking and here by clicking, and I raise this way up and bring this down, we created a much steeper curve and you can see that we've added contrast. Let's back out of this and let's change this to work on one of the color channels. So let's go to red. Drop a point, and now we're going to be influencing the red channel. We're going to add more red or less red. The opposite of red is cyan. And we can do the same with green. More green. Let's get this fuchsia color in here by going down. And the same with blue. We've got more blue or colder. Move down, we've got more yellow or warmer. So this is another area where you can play around. You can actually manipulate colors or on each channel, or you can go all three channels and manipulate the brightness and darkness as well as the contrast just by moving the curve around.